Hey Railheads, I'm Scratch building a warehouse. Follow along as I work on the roof today in part one. Coming up on my Finger Lakes Railway layout. Here's kind of what I'm shooting for. And the color doesn't have to be a perfect match. Now what's important are the different shades of color, the variations. This is the Steinol Res Black Primer I like to use. I think it's made by Badger. You know, the airbrush cleans up fine with IPA. Of course you want to shake it up good. I shoot it through my trusty old Pache Model H at 20 or 30 PSI. And I use the biggest tip that came with the brush. I think they call it a number five. I started out with plain old 60 thou styrene, cut to size. Now this airbrush is a single action. It's very simple to use and clean. If you're thinking of getting into airbrushing, I would recommend to start with this one. Uh, you'll be less apt to become discouraged or frustrated. And then later on, as your skill and confidence grows, you might want to look at a double action. That up with a light dusting of VMA 71.276 uh, USAF light gray. You, you'll see the reason for that here in a minute. This Vallejo Flow Improver is the key to airbrushing VMA. I used to have trouble with it until I saw a video on YouTube, and it was actually the same guy that did that Pache review. Now, the links are both in the description. Uh, but it's the same airbrush I used for the primer, same tip, same pressure. You just add two drops of that Flow Improver to your cup before you add the paint. Oh, and no IPA here. I clean this up with just hot water good you can see the darker primer under the light gray oh and I'll cover that seam with a piece of conduit later on and now let's add some more layers of a darker color to get closer to my prototype photo. wet on wet painting and you just let the paint do its thing. is what that first coat of light gray was for. I'm trying to remove just a little bit of the dark and let that light coat show a little bit. 
and kind of blend in the tide marks and anomalies. And I'll use a little VMA 71.131 concrete to add a layer of dirt. And, and you may have seen me do this before. It's a technique I picked up from Boomer. Oh, we got a lot of water going on here now. I'm just having fun. <laughs> I'm working on my dedicated model railroading sheet pan so I can get all messy. I use this when I'm making my bushes and grass tops too. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I didn't want something over the top. You know, I don't want anything to really stand out and call too much attention to itself on my layout. I want it all to kind of blend together, if that makes sense. I bought these kits a couple years ago, so I'll use them. I don't really have the skills yet to scratch build these little details. Uh, plus, the nearest hobby shop is like a 140 mile round trip and the shipping gets expensive well the styrene itself it ain't really cheap Pretty quick and easy. Pretty nice detail too. Yeah, I couldn't build anything this good. I 
for the details and glue them down later on in the build. Well, that wraps up part one of my warehouse build. And next time we'll work on the walls. Hey, thanks for watching. Take care.